Welcome back trainers. So we're going to be taking a look at tier three, four and five raids to see what my rewards are going to be because I am on the hunt for those rare candies. So if you do enjoy my videos, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. It really does help me out a lot. Subscribe if you're new and let's go ahead and take a look at this. Now, before we hop into those raids, let's look at the rewards themselves to see what we could possibly be getting. Our target here is going to be rare candy. So for the level five raids, you're going to be able to get a maximum of eight if you're very lucky. Tier 4, a maximum of 24. That's going to be extremely rare. And then for Tier 3s, you have 18. Tier 2s, 8. And then Tier 1, 2. All right, so the maximum rare candies for each one of these specific raids is very unlikely to actually occur. So don't look forward to getting those. All right, so first up is going to be the Galarian Weezing. Now, I <laughs> really have no interest in this. Could it find some usability in PvP in the future? It is going to be both fairy and poison, extremely resistant to fighting. Uh, but, uh, you know, the quick move on it, it's going to be tackle. Very useless. So we're going to just be going in here with our Mewtwo's. I do believe we had a Metagross in the back or something like that. Uh, you absolutely will just wipe it out if you do have these Ice Strike Mewtwo's. Very easy. We're going to be duoing just about all these. For the Tier 3's, I'll be going in by myself using my Durant just for fun. And then actually, we're going to be going up against a Regigigas full lobby. We were going to try a duo, but unfortunately, the weather stayed clear out of all the times we have cloudy weather, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at these rewards. We have our Golden raspberries, six rare candies from that Tier 4. And then those were actually going to be potions. Didn't mean to skip over that. So not so bad. You know, the rare candies were there. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next one here. This is going to be a Togetic. It's really sad that this is what it's become. Uh, reduced to having to go to tier 4 raids to find the rare candies. And, you know, maybe you might get them, maybe you might not. I just, I, you don't know what you have until it's gone, unfortunately. So when we did have all those rare candies dropping from the tier 5 raids, I mean, ah. Uh, how nice. I don't understand what they're really doing. If they wanted to help the people who didn't have others in their area to play and they can't do the legendary raids, I feel like they should have just kept the same rewards for the legendary raids while adding them into the lower levels. Problem solved. We can all go on our day getting the same rewards as we would usually going with our big groups and wherever we're at. And for the people who do not have others to play in their area, well, now they can get better rewards from those level three raids or level twos or level fours that they have like a couple other people to play with but they can't quite take down a legendary so taking a look at these rewards here golden raz potions revives and two charged tms let's go but unfortunately no rare candies but that's okay we did get two charged tms and i'm happy with that because i'm quite low as of now i'm probably sitting on about six or so tyranitar the old tyranitar raid so i will be starting it out with durant all right, so we didn't know what moveset it did have, and uh, unfortunately, it is going to have Fire Blast, the one and only weakness to Durant. Um, yeah, I didn't pick top counters because I just wanted to mess around. Lucario, of course, <laughs> Fire Blast, like, come on, really? All right, so in come the Machamps, the proper counter. I just wanted to, you know, have a little fun with those other Pokemon here, seeing that this is an extremely easy raid when you do go up against it with Machamps and somebody else who has a full team of them. It's not going to, you know, you do it with your eyes closed, basically. All right, so we do take it down. Let's take a look at these rewards here. Got the Golden Raz, of course. Six Hyper Potions, nine Revives, and then the Stardust. So that was a, a bust, I would say. Um, yeah, not, not great at all. Not great at all. All right, moving into the next one here. This is going to be a Tier 3 raid, the Alakazam. I am going to start off with the Hydreigon and then go in there with the Durant. And we actually are going to take a look at another Alakazam, and I'm able to do it with just the two of them. Um, but this one does have, uh, oh, this is Future Sight. I think I just didn't dodge enough and I just took the hits, this one here. So the Durant, it, <laughs> was that a worthy investment? That was a lot of rare candies. I probably should have walked it a little bit more before investing them all, seeing that we are in this dilemma for the rare candies because in the past couple of days, I've done you know, a decent amount of raids, but I've only been able to accumulate about, I don't know, up to... 36 rare candies or so we'll take a look at that at the end here but yeah it's not it's really hard to get them again so oof uh, that's not going to stop me from making the power of videos it's just going to kind of slow down the progress down just a little bit as far as the newer pokemon um from gen 5 so we do have six rare candies there that's from a tier 3 raid six rare candies okay that's you know that's good that's really good actually all right now let's go ahead and take <laughs> 
take a look at Reggie Gigas. This thing, oh man. Uh, the only thing it's really good for is that duo challenge, I suppose. And uh, really happy that other video didn't get 1500 likes because I didn't really want to max it out, to be honest. But if you guys want to see that maxed out shiny shadow Caesar, Sizor, then uh, make sure you hit that like button on that video. I'll put a card up here at the top. Yes, I was going to max it out. And right now I did do a few power ups. So currently it is going to cost me around nine or sorry, 786,000 Stardust to completely max that out. So that's why I wanted the goal of 3000 likes. I know it seems a lot, a lot, but that's a lot of Stardust. And, uh, I'm going to have to purchase a secondary move. So it's going to cost me like a million Stardust. All right, taking a look at the rewards. Got the Golden Raz Revives, the Fast TM. Okay, and one rare candy. One candy for you, peasant. Now be gone. All right. So the legendary raids are handing out. I mean, the ones that I've done off camera here, I've been seeing one and two, one and two, one and two, or none sometimes. Most of the time, none. I haven't seen any more than the two bundle. So it's not looking great whatsoever. It really doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Don't you think the harder the raid the better the rewards and not only that let's let's take it up a step here how about the harder the raid the less people the more rewards that sounds like you know i don't know that could divide people and no you can't join my group and people making private because of everyone we scratch the better rewards for less people that just sounds like trouble but the harder the raid boss the better the rewards i mean come on is it so difficult <laughs> what's why are we being deprived of this? It makes no sense. <laughs> Anyways, the Agron. Remember when this used to be a challenge as well? Another raid you can do with your eyes closed if you do have those Machamps. So Kong Keldor, whenever that gets released, is going to be amazing. It's going to take over Machamp's spot. But Machamp's still going to be great. Taking a look at the rewards here. The Golden Raz, the Revives, the TM, Fast TM. Okay, and then some Hyper Potions. And that's it. Okay. Well, then no candies out of that one, but we did get a TM, so that's okay, I suppose. A little bit of Stardust as well. Uh, didn't really use too much resources as far as reviving those Bachamps. Going up against the Absol here, it's going to be cloudy weather, so the fairy types are going to get boosted. We decided to just go in there with them. Mine as well. Nice Gardevoir. This first one here is going to be 100. Charm, Dazzling Gleam on all of them. I am going to dodge here, so I don't have to go into my Togekisses, seeing that it does have Thunder. I just didn't really want to deal with that. And uh, it's it's not so bad. Um, currently in the uh, shop, the boxes with the raid passes is pretty decent. Although I, I've seen a lot of you saying that you're not putting money into the game as much anymore because of what's going on. So let's go ahead and look at these rewards here. Uh, we did get the fast TM and wow. What? Nine? <laughs> That was absolutely unheard of nowadays, getting that. Ah, that. That's the most I've gotten in a long time. And let's see if this is going to be shiny here. No shiny, Absol. That's okay. Moving on to the next one here. Going to do another Galarian Weezing. Uh, at this point, we're simply doing whatever tier 4 we see in our line of path. So we can just you know defeat it together and then get the rewards. Uh, yet again, going in with the Mewtwo's. Easy money. One of those investments that you can personally put the rare candies into and feel comfortable and not like, oh, is it going to get outshined later? Or is this going to get an exclusive move? Well, it already received it, plus it's shiny. So, yeah, quite an amazing Pokemon with Psy Strike. Uh, really happy I put my rare candies into it. A ton of them. Back in the day, I maxed out a whole bunch of them. You know, man, I can't even tell you how many rare candies I put into Mewtwo, honestly. So if they do return, take advantage of that whenever that does occur. All right, let's take a look at the rewards for this one again. So we got those Golden Raz, the Revives, okay. Uh, one Fast TM, not bad, okay. Eight Potions, three Rare Candies, okay. They're there, better than nothing. We got the TM, we got the Rare Candies, that's looking pretty good. All right, now I do believe this is going to be the last one, Alakazam, which I take it out with just the Hydreigon. And I did some spotty dodging, I wasn't trying my darndest to to last this long but then i realized wow this is actually going to be able to you know go all the way through and the difference between the last alakazam and this one this has future sight like the other one we did see uh but it does have psycho cut so we will be able to uh, you know be able to stay in the fight a lot longer here if i was uh 
you know, trying a little bit more. We were kind of in a rush to just go around and do as many as we can. I'll still go out there and try to find an Alakazam to see if I can uh, do as much damage with the Hydreigon. But check out the Durant. It's actually putting in work. And look how tiny it is. It's hilarious. I love it. So it is uh, not actually fainted. It did have like 2 HP or something like that. All right, so three... Uh, and then, well, three rare candies, three golden raspberries, four super potions. So we got some rare candies out of the tier three. Not bad. So there you go, folks. That is my haul there. Now let's take a look and see how many rare candies I do have right now. So we're looking at 464. And before I started, I had 434. Now that's over the course of a couple of days, including raids that I did not show you on camera. So there you have it, guys. It is costing quite a bit and time to get those rare candies. Thank you for watching and I'll be catching you all next time.